In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus told his disciples, If any want to become my followers, let them forget themselves and their own interests, and take up their cross and cleave steadfastly to me. For those who want to save their comfort and security in this life will lose it. And those who lose their comfort and security in this life for my sake will find it. Once we were far off, but now in union with Christ Jesus, we have been brought near through the shedding of Christ's blood, for he is our peace. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who in your tender love towards the human race sent your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross. Grant that we may follow the example of his patience and humility and also be made partakers of his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, Have mercy upon us. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Station one, Jesus in agony in the Garden of Gethsemane. They went to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. He took with him Peter and James and John and began to be distressed and agitated and said to them, I am deeply grieved even to death. Remain here and keep awake. And going a little further, he threw himself on the ground and prayed that, if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. He said, Abba, Father. For you, all things are possible. Remove this cup from me. Yet not what I want, but what you want. Jesus shares our human distress and agitation. Jesus shares our fear of death. Jesus fears for his own life. God in Jesus shares our humanity completely. And he still prays, thy will be done. He trusts. Can we trust too? We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Station two. Jesus is betrayed by Judas and arrested. Immediately while he was still speaking, Judas one of the twelve, arrived. And with him there was a crowd with swords and clubs from the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders. 
Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I will kiss is the man. Arrest him and lead him away under guard. So when he came, he went up to him, at once said, Rabbi, and kissed him. Then they laid hands on him and arrested him. Betrayed by a friend. Betrayed by one of his own. One who shared the bread and the wine with him just hours before. One whose feet Jesus washed. One whom Jesus himself had chosen and called. One who called him teacher. Betrayed with a kiss. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Station three, Jesus is condemned by the Sanhedrin. Now the chief priests and the whole council were looking for testimony against Jesus to put him to death, but they found none. For many gave false testimony against him, and the testimony did not agree. Some stood up and gave false testimony against him, saying, We heard him say, I will destroy this temple that is made with hands, and in three days I will build another not made with hands. But even on this point their testimony did not agree. Then the high priest stood up before them and asked Jesus, Have you no answer? What is it that they testify against you? But he was silent and did not answer. Again, the high priest asked him, Are you the Messiah, the Blessed One? Jesus said, I am. You will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of the power and coming with the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his clothes and said, why do we still need witnesses? You have heard his blasphemy. What is your decision? All of them condemned him as deserving death. What were the chief priests and the council afraid of? And what are we afraid of when we write others off and defend our own interests? What are we protecting? We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Station four, Peter denies Jesus. At that moment, the cock crowed for the second time. Then Peter remembered that Jesus said to him, before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. And he broke down and wept. For the times we have denied Jesus. For the times we have denied our friends. For the times we have denied the truth. For the times we have left others alone when they needed our voice, our presence, our support that with each new day, we may learn instead to stand together. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Station five, Jesus is judged by Pilate. Pilate asked them, why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Crucify him! So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas for them. And after flogging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified. Wishing to satisfy the crowd, playing to the crowd, God bless those who make a conscious decision not to fuel rumours and speculation that whip up the crowd in Jerusalem and in our towns and cities today.
We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Station 6. Jesus is scourged and crowned with thorns. And they clothed him in a purple cloak, and after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on him. And they began saluting him, Hail, King of the Jews! They struck his head with a reed, spat on him, and knelt down in homage to him. Jesus is mocked. He who never dressed himself in a purple cloak, he who never wore a crown, is mocked, spat upon. And he stands alongside all who are misused, ill-treated, humiliated. In his silence, it becomes clear that it is the abusers who are debased and humiliated by their actions. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Station 7, Jesus carries the cross. After mocking him, they stripped him of the purple cloak and put his own clothes back on him. Then they led him out to crucify him. <laughs> Should kill the 
adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Station 8, Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus carry the cross. They compelled a passerby who was coming in from the country to carry his cross. It was Simon of Cyrene, the father of Alexander and Rufus. Simon of Cyrene is compelled to help Jesus carry the cross. Simon of Cyrene stands for all who help bear the cross of others. How much we need one another. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Station 9, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. A great number of people followed him, and among him were women who were beating their breasts and wailing for him. But Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For the days are surely coming when they will say, Blessed are the barren, and the wombs that never bore, and the breasts that never nursed. Then they will begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, Cover us. For if they do this when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? Green is the color of spring. Green is the color of hope. Green is the color of life. In the midst of life, we need to be on our guard against all that is dehumanizing, dehumanizing of others and of our world. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Station 10, Jesus is crucified. And they crucified him and divided his clothes among them, casting lots to decide what each should take.
We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Station 11. Jesus promises the kingdom to the penitent thief. One of the criminals who were hanged there kept deriding him and saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed have been condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserved for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied, Truly, I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. A request, words of faith, words of prayer, they become our words too. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Station 12, Jesus on the cross, his mother and his friend. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his own home. What you did for the least of these sisters and brothers of mine, you did unto me. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Station 13, Jesus dies on the cross. At three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, Lema sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, Listen, he is calling for Elijah. And someone ran, filled a sponge with sour wine, put it on a stick, and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to take him down. Then Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Station 14, Jesus is laid in the tomb. Joseph bought a linen cloth, and taking down the body, wrapped it in the linen cloth, and laid it in a tomb that had been hewn out of the rock. He then rolled a stone against the door of the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom in the words our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world, grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.